Hello, myself Deepak, and in today's topic, we'll see the use of for next statement in Excel VBA. In my previous video, we have seen if statement or you can say condition statement. If you need any help, I have kept the link in the description. Please have a look. Now, taken scenario, you want to perform certain task or you can say certain line of codes again, again and again. Okay. Now you know that you want to perform these number of lines of codes this much times, like for example, 10 times, 40 times, 100 times, you know that you want to perform these set of codes this number of times. Then you can use, or you can say you can take the help of for next statement. Let's see the code. Now the for statement the starts with a keyword for. Okay, then you have to define give one variable. Like here I have used i, so I defined i as an integer type. Okay, and then i is equal to say for example here I want to perform a number of tasks 10 times. I said i is equal to 1 to 10 then here basically in between this for i is equal to 1 to 10 and this next i whatever you want to perform like here 10 times 1 to 10 so 10 times whatever you want to perform 10 times those statements have to be mentioned here the statement can be of one line two lines or n number of lines it's based on your requirement okay now what i have done i said for i is equal to 1 to 10 then i said message i that display a message box and the number of i and then next i now in this case but what will happen let's take a run i click on this the first value of i is 1, you get this message. Then you have just one code that display a message box with the value of i. So the first time i was 1, so you get the value. You click on OK, you again get a message box. Why? Because now next part will do what? Next i will do what? That means i is equal to i plus 1. Okay. So 1 plus 1, 2, then 2 plus 1, 3. 3 per 1, 4, and so on. See, things are going on. And now why plus 1? Because by default, when you use a for loop like this, okay, and here you are not given step, that means what? By default, the value, whatever the variable you have taken here, like I have taken i, and I'm starting with 1, and going till 10. This means when this next line execute next of this variable like here i so of course next i what will happen the value will be increment by one only every time the this line execute the value of the variable here will be increase increase by one whatever it was previously so for example first it was one so one plus one it becomes two then the value of i was two the 2 plus 1, 3, and so on. Fine. However, if you want to perf say you want the value should be increment not by 1, it should be increment by 2. Then after this, just say step 2. I'm sorry. Now let's see. First time, of course, it will run. Then 1 plus 2. It becomes 3. Then 3 plus 2. 5. Fine. So every time the value is increasing by 2. Okay. And you see that the value starts with 1. And then goes till 10. And after that, if the value of, of i is, like for example, if right now we are adding 2. Previously we are adding just 1. When it was adding this one when the code is like that. 
So you think that after 10, the message was was display 10, then you're coming out. Basically, what happened? Because here, these this code, which is between this for and this next, will be executed 10 times because I have mentioned it 1 to 10. When the value of i is 11, this statement becomes false. That's why it come out from the for loop. Basically, the cursor or you can say the execution point will become after this here. And if it if there is some code here, that will be executed. If nothing was there after that, nothing will be executed. Okay. Now, take one more example of step. Say for example, currently here you have said i is equal to 1 to 10. So by default, the value of i is in ascending order. There might be cases when you need the for loop should be run in descending order. Then what? Say for example like this. Now if here I do not mention step and see what happened. This is basically for this button. Now let me click on the C. Nothing was happening. Fine. Because I had said here that the value of i is equal to 10 to 1. That means the value of i is in decreasing order. Now because I have not mentioned step, what is happening? For loop is doing what? It is considering it is in an increment mode. So it it is thinking that 10 plus 1 like that. So 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. Now in this case it is not possible. Because here you have to go in descending order. So that's why nothing is happening. So if I mention here step minus 1. So I'm saying now you have to go not by default like not increase the value like here it is increasing by one by one by default if i mention step equal to two it then it will increase the value by two do not do that thing it says that do reverse what decrease the value by minus one now it can be minus one it can be minus two as per your comment say for example i say minus one now let's run on now the first time the value of i is 10, you enter into the two loop 10, 10, 10 minus 1, when next i reaches, the cursor reaches to next i, it will do what? 10 minus 1, 9, again you enter into the loop, then when again the cursor reaches to next i, it will be 9 minus 1, 8 and so on. Fine, clear. And once the i is one, enter it prints. Then i minus one means one minus one is zero. So again, the loop is finished because you need to run the this loop is from ten to one only. Fine. So now you know that for loop you can use when when you want to repeat certain codes for certain number of times, and you know how many times. You want to execute those code if you know that thing and you want to execute certain codes few number of times and you know that how many times you have to execute you can take help of this for next statement okay i hope this clears if you like my video please like and subscribe my channel take care goodbye